Please welcome to the stage, Deborah Johnson. Thank you so, so very much. I was really, really looking forward to being here with you today with TOPS, International Recognition Days. Are you excited to be here? I love that. I'm talking about getting your life unstuck. And my goal for you today is to walk out of here feeling like, yes, there is hope. I don't have to be stuck. We all have a little bit different story. Each one of you comes from a different background. You're dealing with something different. And I, I'm going to start with a little song, because I can, <laughs> um, that talks about someone who was stuck and is now flying. The years are passing faster now. She still has some youth. But lines are growing deeper as she faces the truth. She reinvents the girl of many, many years ago. But she's a different woman now to where she wants to go. At this time in her life, to live a life of meaning is what she had done. As I see this woman and her future ahead, I see my reflection. It was me. It was me instead. And some of you, don't you wish sometimes, you know, maybe a couple of those relatives, don't you wish Amazon had a return policy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to really help you move through being stuck to being unstuck because you, you don't really have to stay stuck. And today I'm gonna to cover three of those steps. And so are you ready? Three steps, right? First one is to identify and eliminate bad code. Well, what sort of bad code are you dealing with? The bad code that says, oh, you know, you've tried to lose weight before, you keep going up and down and up and down. What makes you think you can be successful now? Or, oh, you know, your body's not what it used to be. You don't need to get in shape. You don't need to go to the gym. Or, oh, you're too old to start a new career. You can't learn something new. All of that is bad code. And we need to replace that with good code. <laughs> I love this step because it's full of hope. And it is to focus on your strengths. Not long ago, I was able to hear a speaker named Marcus Luttrell. Now, I love well, Marcus stood in that room and he said, you know, at that point, I didn't know what to do. I could have put words in his mouth. At that point, I was stuck. But then he went on. At that point, I didn't know what to do because all I knew how to do was to kill people. Who? I was very happy I was in the back row. <laughs> all I know how to do is to be a composer. All I know how to do is to be an engineer. All I know how to do is to be a mom. The nerve is just like a copper wire and the myelin sheath surrounds it. And as you do it the same way every single time repeating that, you are strengthening that myelin sheath. You are creating a new, that's why you can create a new good habit. You can do it. I'm going to play a little piece for you right now, and I kind of like to demonstrate it because it is, it, it's exactly the way I was trained because I can play this classical piece on this keyboard, which is 61 keys. Now, a normal piano is 88. I love grand pianos. I've played on a lot of them all over the place, um, but I've also played on a lot of keyboards all over, pretty much all over the world. But I'm able to do that because I have worked for years and years and years with my myelin sheath. I had a teacher very, very strict, strict on strengthening habits 
And but that crosses over to all areas of our life. And I hope you enjoy this. It is the Bach Prelude and Solfeggio by J.S. and C.P.E. Bach. C.P.E. is one of his 20 children. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy. In my, in my book, I started also talking about core competency and core strength. Now, in doing so, I decided to figure out what my core strength was. Now, this is the wall of my studio. I have more than this now, but I saw all those CDs I've produced, and I've written three musicals, and I've written books, and all of this stuff. And I thought, you know, I wonder if my core strength is just creativity. But I found, no, it goes much further than that. It goes much deeper than that, because I've heard that a lot from musicians especially. I found out my core strength is taking a project, identifying a project, and then increasing my knowledge base enough to be able to complete that project all the way. And it's why I was able to somewhat reinvent my life. When the music business absolutely tanked, I started doing some writing and some other things because I knew I could help other people with their goals. I knew I could help other people go from point A to point B very successfully because I've had to do it on my own. I understand what it takes. I've learned things like the Photoshop, like web design, like uh, video production. I've learned just enough of those to be able to reinvent my life and to be able to finish projects. That was my core strength, my core competency. Something like that will run through almost anything that you do, no matter what your background. Well, at the same time, when I started evaluating my core strength, my core competency, I decided to analyze my husband's core strength, which I don't always recommend. <laughs> Now, when I met and married Greg, he was a professional baseball player, a professional athlete. And like most athletes, they have to reinvent their life many times, actually. Well, he has been in the business finance field. Uh, he also had a degree in that area and has a brilliant mind for that uh, for about the last 20 years. And he found out what his core strength was. He's able to take very involved principles and put them in words that you and I can understand. I am not a financial whiz, but I can understand it. And it's helping him branch out into writing and to speaking because he's been able to help so many people. But he understands what his core strength is. Finding out what your core strength is will help you not only to reinvent your life, but also focusing on strengths is to develop that myelin sheath for good habits, replacing the bad code with the good code. Okay, step number three, just do it. I was so excited this morning. Okay, I went to the gym, to the little workout place in this hotel, and I passed by the pool, and you know what I saw between 6 and 6.30 in the morning? <laughs> It was amazing. It put a smile on my face. I felt like staying there and watching water aerobics. The, the pool, who was there? <laughs> oh my goodness. I was so excited because you are doing this. And I want to leave you with that today. There is a hero inside you. Do you believe that today? Yes. There is a hero inside you and I want you to achieve your goals. You can break free, be all that you can be. Oh, you can, yes, you can. It can be deriding, paralyzing to step out on your own. But I know you can do it, get all the way through it to make it all the way back home to the hero inside. The hero. 
Thank you.